Rockford Chimney Supply presents installing a wood burning stove with a Rockvent Class A chimney system. First, start by choosing the stove location. Make sure to look at the manufacturer's installation instructions for the minimum clearances from the stove to any combustible material. Then, next, you'll want to adjust the legs on the stove to ensure that the stove is level. Place the laser auto center system in the exhaust hole of the stove to easily mark the point on the ceiling that you will cut through to install the Rockvent Class A ceiling support box. Invert the ceiling support box and center it over the laser point. Then trace the perimeter of the ceiling box to mark where you're going to cut through the ceiling. Then you can use a sawzall to make the cut through the ceiling. Insert the ceiling support box through the ceiling, making sure that it extends at least 3 inches below the ceiling. Make sure that the ceiling support box is level and use the mounting brackets to attach the ceiling support box to the ceiling joist. Next, install the attic insulation shield over the ceiling support box. This will prevent any insulation from getting inside the ceiling support box. With the ceiling support box in place, you can then install the universal mail adapter on the first section of Class A pipe. Next, you can insert the Class A pipe and the universal mail adapter into the ceiling support box. The male end of the universal mail adapter will come through the hole in the bottom of the ceiling support box. Then you can install the storm collar over the attic insulation shield to prevent any debris from falling into the ceiling support box. And next, you can add another section of the Class A chimney pipe. Place the laser center system on the top of the Class A pipe to easily mark for the roof penetration. Then run a screw through the roof deck so you are easily able to locate the roof penetration on the top side of the roof. Center the roof flashing over the screw and spray paint the shingles on the inside of the flashing. This will easily mark the hole you need to cut for your roof. Then you can use a sawzall to make the roof penetration. Make sure that the hole in the roof is at least 4 inches greater than the outside diameter of the chimney pipe for the appropriate clearance. Next, use a long steel cutting sawzall blade and cut the nails underneath the shingles on the top half of the roof penetration. Apply a healthy bead of silicone on the underside of the roof flashing and then you can tuck the roof flashing underneath the shingles on the top half of the roof penetration. Then use screws to affix the flashing to the roof deck. You can seal the heads of the screws with silicone. Then you can install the remaining pipe sections. Make sure that the height of the chimney stack above the roof line is at least 2 foot higher than anything 10 feet away. Next you can install the storm collar by inserting the tab through the slot in the storm collar. Bend the tab over and run a sheet metal screw through the tab to hold it in place. Then you can apply a high temperature outdoor silicone around the storm collar to seal it around the pipe. Install the rain cap over the pipe and tighten down the quick connect clamp. If the pipe is going to extend more than 5 feet above the roof, it is required to install the roof brace kit to stabilize the pipe above the roof. You can position the chimney locking band approximately 2 thirds the way up the chimney section. With the locking band tight, you can attach one end of the adjustable poles to the locking band and the other end of the adjustable poles to the roof mount. The adjustable poles will need to be positioned at a 45 degree angle and approximately 90 degrees apart. Then you can tighten the bolt on the adjustable poles to lock them together. Then seal the screws on the roof mount with an outdoor silicone. Now that everything is completed on the roof, we can go back to the attic to install the extended wall support. Just like the roof brace, start by wrapping the locking band around the chimney pipe. With the locking band tight, you can then attach one end of the wall support to the locking band and mount the mounting bracket to the side of the wall. Then you can attach the angled portion of the wall support to the locking band and mount the mounting bracket to the side of the wall. Now that the Class A pipe is installed and stabilized, we can then finish the installation by connecting our stove pipe. Start by installing the two-piece trim for the square ceiling support to hide the cut that we made in the ceiling. When installing double wall stove pipe, you will need the double wall to class A adapter to attach the universal mail adapter connected to the chimney pipe to the double wall black stove pipe. Before installing the stove adapter, apply a healthy bead of furnace cement to the male end of the stove adapter. This will make sure the stove adapter has a good connection and seal to the wood stove. Now we can connect the remaining sections of the stove pipe to connect the class A to double wall adapter down to the stove adapter. 
make sure to use all the screws that are provided for each stovepipe connection. And there you have it, the installation of a wood-burning stove with a Rockvent Class A chimney system. If you still have any questions about installing a wood stove or a Class A chimney system, feel free to give one of Rockford Chimney Supplied certified technicians a call. Our toll-free number is 866-708-2446. And you can find more information on our website, www.rockfordchimneysupply.com. From all of us here at Rockford Chimney Supply, stay safe and stay warm by the fire.